This is a special tribute to my father. Dad, I love you, man. I love you. I don't know why you were not a part of my life when I grew up. I know some of the stories that were told to me. But I don't fully understand why you were not there. I miss those opportunities of calling you dad and calling you pop and calling you father and calling you daddy and any other adjective that describes you as my parent. What you don't know, or maybe you do, I don't know, was that I hated you. I thought I forgave you when I wrote you a letter and told you I forgave you, but when I stood at your casket in 1985 and looked down at your lifeless, cork, uh, lifeless body, I had two thoughts. Thought one was, do I look like you or does my brother look like you? Thought two, I hated you and wanted to throw you at that casket and stomp you. I apologize for hating you. You see, what I kind of realized over the years is this. Although circumstances may have kept you from me growing up, when I became a man, I could have came to saw you, see you. I could have reached out to you, but I didn't. So I'm just as guilty and just as bad as you are. What I've come to do, realize over the last 34 years since you've been dead, is to realize how much I really miss you. Is to realize how much I really, really wish you were a part of my life. I have two sons, biological sons. Third son with my, due to my marriage to Gloria. I have several grandsons. I don't know if I would have been a better dad or granddad or great granddad if you had been a part of my life or not. I don't know the answer to that question. Only God knows that. But I do know one thing. With every ounce of my being, every ounce of my breath, I love you, man. I love you. You don't know the special place you have in my heart right now. When I look back over the last 34 years, when I got to know your nieces and nephews, and hear some of the things that they told me about you, it deepened that resolve of my heart to love you. I don't know if you ever... Uh, wanted to see us or not. Seeing that came back in my memory, when I was five years old, you came to see me and my brother. And I'm not really sure about that, being at that young age. I'm not sure if I remember that or if, because I was told that so often, I just, in my head, visualized you being there. So I don't know whether you tried to come years later to see us or not. I don't know. I know that what was told you, the threats that were made against you if you came back to Glenville. I know those stories. But I went to New York three years ago. This July will be three years ago. And my cousins had a full album. And in that photo album was a picture of my son, Nikhil, my oldest son. I had seen that picture before. Lil and I sent it to you some years before. And when you died in 1985, my aunts, specifically Aunt Betsy, told me that you carried that picture with you to the day you died, thinking that it was me in that picture.
So that tells me that in your heart, somewhere, you love me. That you cared, that you cared about your sons. Both of them, not just me, but my brother Mark as well. That tells me that you cared about us, that you longed for us, that you wanted to be a part of our lives. Because you could have took the picture and threw it away, but you didn't. You kept, you held on to it. As I was about to say, I don't know if I would have been a good dad or a better dad or a granddad or a great granddad if you had been a part of my life. I don't know the answer to that question. But I do know one thing. I love you, man. With every fiber of my being, I love you. And if I can get to you right now, if you were living, I would give you the biggest hug I could possibly give a person. Because I love you so much. You don't realize the special place you have in my heart. You're real close to me. Right here. And you'll be, you be right there to the day I die. I will always love you. I will always cherish you. And most importantly, I will always will honor you as my dad. When I was much younger, I wanted to change my name from your name because I was named after you. But now I wear that name with honor. And I gladly put the JR on the end because you're my dad. I wear it as a badge of honor. So on this Father's Day in, that, in 2019, I want to say, Dad, I love you. I cherish you. I honor you. I cherish and honor your memory. Beloved, I, I do have with you. And I respect you. I was told some bad stories about you, stories that I was later told was untrue. But I love you, man. And if you can hear me, just know that this son of yours loved you very much. Thank you for listening. I love you.